In this example, we're going to be looking at simplifying some trig functions where they're in the form where we've got one trig function multiplied by another and one or more of them are reciprocal trig functions. So in this specific case, we've got sec theta multiplied by cot theta. And generally, what's a good strategy when we're approaching these problems is to take each of these and write them in terms of sine and cos. So that's what I'm going to start by doing. So we have sec theta cot theta can be written as sec theta can be written as 1 over cos theta and cot theta although we can write it as 1 over tan theta a more useful identity in this case is to write it as cos theta over sine theta by doing this we can spot anywhere where things might cancel. So in this case, we've got cos theta on the top of a fraction and cos theta on the bottom. So we can cancel the cos thetas and we get left with one over sine theta. And one over sine theta, we can write that as cosec theta. Let's have a look at a second example. Okay, part B, we've got cot theta over cosec theta. Now, one way we could approach this is to take cot theta and cosec theta and write them in terms of cos theta and sine theta. If we did that, we'd end up with a double decker fraction, which we could simplify. But I'm going to show you a different approach to this question, which may get you there in less steps. The approach I'm going to take this time is that normally we take cosec theta when it's on the top of a fraction and write it as 1 over sine theta. So sine theta ends up on the bottom of the fraction. Similarly, if we've got cosec theta on the bottom of a fraction, we can rewrite that so that it's sine theta on the top of a fraction. So we'll leave the cot theta, but we'll replace cosec theta with 1 over sine theta, which means it ends up being cot theta multiplied by sine theta. From here, we can write cot theta in terms of sine and cos, so we can write it as cos theta over sine theta multiplied by sine theta. As we're multiplying by sine theta and then dividing by sine theta, that's going to cancel out, leaving us with cos theta. To simplify sec theta sine theta, we'll start by writing sec theta in terms of cos theta. So we can write it as 1 over cos theta multiplied by sine theta. So here we have sine theta divided by cos theta, which we can then write as tan theta. So here we have cosec theta over sec theta. What I'm going to do first is not strictly necessary, but I'm going to separate this out into two separate fractions. So I'm going to write this as cosec theta multiplied by 1 over sec theta. From here, I'm then going to write cosec and sec in terms of sine and cos. So cosec theta becomes 1 over sine theta. And we're multiplying that by 1 over sec theta is just going to become cos theta. So here we have cos theta divided by sine theta, which we can write as cot theta. 